Hello, everyone. Good morning. Unannounced live stream. Uh, I'm just trying, like, pretty much trying out this uh, method. And uh, I thought today we could do some live game design. I'm working on Starlight Riders, my next release uh, that's uh, at the moment each funding on uh, each.io. We actually crossed the uh, fresh threshold. So uh, we are funded. The game is going to happen. And uh, I'm writing a lot of stuff for the game. And uh, I thought today would be a fun exercise to do it some, some part of it live. Uh, first of all, because I think that sometimes when you're working on something, it kind of helps if you uh, talk out loud and uh, try to exercise those things out loud. Uh, and uh, since I work by myself, it's a very lonely experience at some points uh, in the sense of uh, ha not having a sounding board, someone to bounce your, your ideas off of. And uh, I thought, why not? Maybe even doing a live stream uh, that could help. Even if I don't have inputs for comments, uh, I know it's early Sunday morning, so I don't expect anyone to be actually watching. But just putting me in the exercise of, uh, you know, actually speaking out loud and seeing what ideas come out of it. So my plan is today I want to work on uh, moments. Before I share my screen, the Starlight Riders is a game about heists. So I divided a heist in three acts, the preparation phase, the execution, and the extraction. So preparation includes maybe planning, but not so much, uh, grabbing gear or grabbing info, surveillance, uh, your credentials to get into the place, uh, and things like that. And then the execution itself is when you get into the place you want to steal the thing from, and uh, you pass the security measures and everything, and uh, you simply try and try to get to the thing. When you actually get to the thing, you uh, then you have to leave. And that's usually when in heist movies, things go south because uh, there are unforeseen consequences and complications that you have to look at. So yeah, since Starlight Riders is a GM-less game, there is no prepping of the, uh, the heist itself. So how can we overcome it with a cooperative game? Well, I have talked before that I like to design my games around moments. So what is that? So things that I want to happen in a game, be it uh, experiences, feelings, scenes, the opportunity to, to perform certain actions or to uh, live out or to role play certain circumstances or to show an aspect of my character or to share a moment with the other players. So those are moments. And sometimes we have an idea on our heads about the themes and the, the things that we want to have in our games. And we start designing the game and somehow the mechanics just drive us away from that original intent for the game. And uh, when you keep moments in mind, you have to ask your mechanics, am I providing my players with the tools they need to experience those moments I had in mind when I started designing this game? You know what I mean? So with Starlight Riders, I thought that instead of actually bringing it on the back of my head while I designed the game, I decided to make moments an actual mechanical part of the game. How so? So you get your players together, or maybe, maybe if you're playing solo, and you look at a bunch of cards with moments on it. Those moments are tropes from heist movies. You know, that uh, snippets of scenes or the, the stereotypical uh, 
behaviors that you, you see in a heist movie. And uh, there will be a bunch of those. Uh, I'm looking at 27. I know it's a weird name, but uh, it's because we're doing cards and uh, three pages of nine cards, nine poker sized cards come to 27 cards. And uh, I can't go too over that limit. Uh, otherwise the game is going to be too expensive to produce. So what I'm trying to do today it's come up with uh, 27 heist moments. Keep in mind that uh, we are talking about, about a space Western sort of uh, genre, which means we can bring uh, uh, tropes from the Western genre. We can bring some tropes from the uh, sci-fi, science fantasy, uh, fantasy genre, but mainly the heist and caper genre. So I've been taking notes here and there, looking at references, watching a lot of uh, source material. So Ocean's Eleven uh, and uh, Firefly, Cowboy Bebop, and taking notes along the way. And my hope is that you can help to, to help me create those uh, 27 moments that we have here. So let's do this. Let me share my screen real quick. There you go. Yeah. Here I am in the corner. The software you're seeing there is uh, called Ginkgo. I uh, love it. It's uh, It's a lovely uh, app for structured writing. So you can have your, uh, your outline for the, uh, for the book you're writing. And uh, those are the chapters of my book. And then you go to the sub chapters or subtitles and then to the actually writing of the paragraphs, which is nice. Uh, if you, you can move those cards around and uh, it's easy to organize for me it's better than the like a long google doc that oh what was this the thing that i wrote on the other chapter it's easy to navigate here and uh after you're done done you can simply to a word document and then neat not a sponsor at all but uh i always like to talk about kinko i'm still using my uh free version here and i plan on upgrading this as soon as I can. So here are the moments, a list of moments. Let's talk about it then. What are the moments I'm talking here? They can be uh, place, locations, they can be um, sensations, they can be um, situations really. Or more specifically, they can be obstacles you have to overcome when uh, trying to when trying to get to the ob objective. And I need to find moments that are good for the three different acts. So, what are some cool moments that we we have in heist movies when they are trying to you know get to the um, before they get to the thing? How do they get the credentials? How do they prepare? Uh, they get the blueprints for the place they're trying to, to rob. How they get uh, some special artifacts or vehicles that they need. So those situations, those moments in the movies, that's uh, some of the things that I'm trying to tackle here, really. And uh, there you go. So let's, I need 27. So let me do this real quick. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
right there you go now it can work so here's a list of 27 moments for heist movies I have uh, some notes that I can uh, look into. It's things that I grabbed from different sources. And uh, I'll probably have more than 27. And I think I need to boil them down to 27 and maybe combine them and make them not as specific make them more like a generic uh, as to you know feel a little bit more of uh, different situations that uh you know there's a little bit more replayability if i get too specific maybe i can't uh replay the same thing uh, more than once it gets tiring really really quickly you know what i mean so to give you an example um what is a, a cool moment on heist movies you have to overcome camera server surveillance that's one Another cool one uh, that will be, uh, let me see. Uh, no, security cameras, but let's put it. It's an obstacle we have to overcome. And then we have the Of course, the um, vault or getting into the safe, uh, safe cracking, maybe. I don't know if that's a, an expression in English. You can help me. Safe cracking. Now, there is also the um, security guards. Moving away from the heist movies and getting into the... Uh, Western genre, I think we need a um, a poker game, right? That's a moment. That's a moment I'd, I'd like to see in a game. So uh, maybe you're betting for uh, tickets to get to uh, an event where you're going to actually steal something that are exposed during the event. That's something I can see in ice movies, right? Or in Western genre or on Titanic. Uh, laser grids, laser grids is something that uh, always fun on ice movies. How do we overcome those? And uh, there's those, uh, they're called the ventilation system. Here to, um, armed guards, armed guards, armed guards. Lockets, locked vault doors. That's fun. Uh, Rooftops, rooftops. I think this is generic enough that it can be, you can use in the act one, doing surveillance or uh, actually find uh, blind spots, or it can be on the, the execution phase where you uh, actually enter the place through the rooftops, or it can be in the extraction phase, you uh, get out through the rooftop. So it's generic enough. And it can have a battle there. Maybe the guards find you on the rooftops and they have a chase. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I stick with this one. Nice. What else?
Uh, let's see. Am I playing yet? Yeah, I guess I am. Just trying to make sure that I am live. And I don't know. Twitter is kind of messy. Okay, let me see. It's first time doing this. I'm uh, actually streaming to uh, Facebook. Twitter and YouTube at the same time. So I expect some hiccups, but we never know. We're gonna see later. So yeah, if you uh, if you can see it, just uh, drop me a hello there. All right. Okay, rooftops. That's nice. What else? Um, sewers, sewers, from the top to the bottom. There, there is a charm on it going through sewers as well uh i've i've been watching uh la casa de papel i think it's money heist in english on netflix and they use the sewers a lot more than once uh -huh. ventilation shafts that's what is a shaft i know this word in english ventilation shaft is that autumn yeah yeah that's that's exactly what i'm what i'm looking at i guess ventilation duct or air vent seven great modern high scenes oh that's something i have to take a look at So ventilation duct. I mean, I don't know if it's ducts or shafts work better in English. That's some of the hard things of uh, writing on a second language. Struggles of an ESL speaker. Right, so what else? We have eight. Um, uh, fingerprints, fingerprints. Getting someone else's fingerprints to, you know, use those scans, that's so, ridiculously fun and uh, now credentials credentials may be a thing getting credentials or faking your credentials or um, Pressure, sound, temperature, sensitive, alarms. I'm taking that exactly from Mission Impossible. That's one of the best heist scenes when uh, Tom Cruise gets from the, the top of the uh, that vault to get into the, the the computer you know what i mean the terminal and uh he's on a zip line and there's pressure sound and temp temperature sensitive alarms i don't think i need to make three cards for those if there's a way to combine those three words in something that takes less space on my 
poker size card, but I think about that later. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, okay. There is also the moment when we have a... Um, Oh, the blueprints. The blueprints. So uh, it, getting the blueprints or um, using them, them or uh, looking at them on a holographic view. Remember, space western, so we can imagine there is some technology as well. Uh, Now we can have um, bargaining. This is maybe a little too generic. But I'm, what I'm trying to get here is uh, the moment when the, maybe the mark finds out what is, what's going on. And uh, there you have that moment that you negotiate your way out and there is this last trick that you play if you watch oceans 11 you know what i mean they get on the phone with the guy they're robbing from and uh work out a deal of sorts only for us to realize later that uh they uh messed the deal and actually got got out with all the money with them with some camera tricks they did now what I'm trying to remember is what's the word for a forged item? Item? It's, is it it? What's it called? It's not a decoy. It's a. I have to go to a thesaurus, really. Falsified. It's forged. It's a um, fake counterfeit. It's not a copy. It's uh, imitation. Uh, it's a uh, replica. Replica is good. So that's that, that's very common on uh, ice movies as well. That can be on Act One. You're trying to forge a replica of the item place it afterwards or you can use it on the second act and uh, the moment here is when you make the switch you place the other the replica in uh, in place of the original one so you can steal it cool one what else can we do here um i have a note here I don't know if it makes sense. Trackers. Tracking someone. I'll leave it here. Yeah, I'll come back to, to that later on. So, uh, now, on the way out, I don't have lots of ideas for the way out, for the exit, the extraction. What are cool moments on the way out? I uh, have the negotiation, the bargaining. A chase is more of a complication that can happen. That's another list of 27 items that I'll probably work on later. But uh, things that you actually want to experience. Oh, I don't know. Um, a diversion. 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 You create a diversion. That's generic enough. Oh, there is something that uh, Hive movies love. That's the uh, elevator scenes.
it's on elevator pit is that it yeah it goes it goes along with the uh, ventilation ducts and sewers so an elevation elevation uh, it's elevator pit i don't know why every heist movie i watch there's or tv series there's someone stuck on an elevator pit somehow some for some reason but uh <laughs> i don't know Elevator pit. Yeah, that's a cool one. What else? Let's have you grab here. now oh, okay maybe in the way out there is uh navigating through traffic or through hazardous terrain uh so yeah that can be uh, the, the the part of where the pilot gets to shine a little bit more i'm talking here well we're not space western heist movie so there is the chase that can happen or it can't happen but a cool moment might be driving away or riding away somehow be on a horse or a space shift ship anything like that and uh, the obstacle itself is the driving navigating hazardous terrain and uh, how can I express this in a, a few words? So uh, that's the. Hmm. Credentials and uniforms, I guess. Oh, a cool moment that happens is uh, in planning is coming up with uh, custom gear or vehicles gear generically. You know, there, we're trying to. There is a the James Bond part of things that a, a technician goes over some uh, uh, new tech or prototypes that uh, they're trying to use but also in heist movies oh we have to come up with uh explosive that uh only works when you collect blah and blah uh, which is fun but uh yeah uh, or a way to to bypass a certain door or you actually have to get this from someone else there, there's negotiation invo involved. So, uh, yeah, that can be a, a cool moment. But uh, I was talking about leaving the place, the, ex the escapade. So, what can I do? Escape, maybe? Let's do. Let me see if the Tesaurus helps me here. Break out the flight. Outbreak. Getaway. It's kind of a mandatory one then. So I'm not not exactly what I'm looking for really. I'll put getaway here just so I can remember it later. Maybe I'll come up with a better term if I have a suggestion. Please leave it in the comments. 
I'd love to hear it. Just making sure I'm still live. Yeah, am I? I am. Yeah, it's working. Hey, thanks, Alison. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know about that, but uh, I'm trying to make do my best here. <laughs> what else can we do? Uh, I've collected some from um, other games that I saw, and I'm looking through them now. Laser, laser grids. I have laser grids. Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, this is fun. Oh, this can be a complication, yeah. Like uh, I was planning on uh, helicopters showing up, or the police, or the sheriff. Sheriff would be a cool complication, but uh, that's not here. But we can have like uh, surveillance drones. That can be fun. That can be a fun obstacle to to work with. Nice. Let's see, what else do I have here? I have my trusty notebook. Let me see if I can show you. If I can show you here. Right. So all those bullet points that you can see here are uh, ideas i took from movies and tv shows while watching them and uh just wrote them down i might have something on my phone really that uh i am uh, not sure i still have them i hope i do i have some notes here oh okay Surveillance drones or droids too. That, that that can be fun, right? Uh, a shootout. A shootout might be um, a cool complication. Pirates, as well. Uh, a maze. Oh, a maze. A maze maybe instead of uh, the getaway. It can be a maze. I have to navigate a maze somehow. And now it's up to you to, to come up with what this maze looks like. It can be you're going through the mountains of a, a planet, or uh, it can be uh, you're going through uh, city traffic on a rush hour, or you're going through a meteor shower. I don't know. Yeah, maze, that's the word. Excellent. Let me go back to the corner here. Um, this is... huh, um... Special transportation, villain, space parasites. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that can be a fun complication as well. No, I have more. I have more noted down here. We can have a uh, 
do or a standoff. I'm not sure standoff means what I think means. Means. Let me see. Uh, English. A stalemate or deadlock between two equally matched opponents in a dispute, feuds, or a conflict. Okay. That's uh, that seems like something we can have. Right. It's maybe a time for the gunslinger to shine when you're on your way out. You find your mark or uh, an enemy from your past and you have a standoff or it can be a, a dialogue it doesn't need, need to involve guns uh, now there is this moment of uh, Is moving your way out, and uh, there is this that the, the face does that they're convincing people that they're that's deceiving, but uh, this is not a, a, a moment, this is an action. And uh, I don't want to, uh, you see, characters in Starlight Riders they have a list of knacks, which are talents that they have. So, deceiving is a talent that they can use to apply to a situation. And I want to frame a situation, but the, my, I don't want to force a specific way of dealing with the situation. You know, I have to present it and they uh, go about solving, the players go about solving it the way they find a fit. But I want to have a social, a social moment like uh, that, uh, provides an opportunity for the social characters, the face, the rascal, and uh, the dog to shine. And uh, that's probably what, what can be a cool situation on which they can shine. It's, I thought about putting a ball here, but I think a ball is, is going to be actually one of the possible locations to go for a heist. So the ball is the whole heist, not a specific moment. So what I'm talking here is when you try to convince people that, uh, that those moments in heist movies that you try to convince people that you are someone that you're not actually, you know what I mean? Uh, So, but I don't want to force that in with deceiving or uh, the method of doing so. I don't know. I have to think about it. I'll put it here in brackets. Deceiving. Passing for someone else. What's the kind of moment that uh, entails that kind of thing? Yeah. It could be considered later on. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, what else can we do? Okay, look at my notes here, drones, go to the top. You sneak through casino security, okay, casino, good. Uh, I have armored guards, security cameras, lock vault doors, laser grids. I have the, the alarms. Uh, there is the um, credentials. These guys, these guys, uniforms, these guys. Okay. Now, oh, that's a security cameras. That's also the system, right? Maybe a hacker kind of thing. Uh, the uh, energy grid, that uh, the the blackout, you know, the thing that uh, that happens in lots of heist movies when you uh, when you hack into the grid or to provide a moment in which 
we know the security system is working. Yeah, that's a method more than a, than a moment. So I think that the obstacle is the security cameras or the security system. And uh, hacking into the energy system is the solution. So yeah, I think it's covered already. Guard dogs. Oh, dogs can be a fun complication, that's for sure. Police, I don't think. Security guards is okay. A climb between rooftops. Okay, so a uh, climb. A climb is interesting, that's for sure. Maybe the rooftops is the entrance point, but uh, you can... You can have those moments on the, the side of a building when you actually have to get from one one floor to, to another one. So uh, climb or a uh, zip line and hapel kind of thing. I would climb here. I'll work on it later. Climb is cool. All uh, right, what else? Ventilation, alarm, get away, that's the maze, pa ID, passes, credentials we have. Okay, oh, it's uh, maybe a, a computing system that uh, protects some kind of information. That's different from security cameras that's the um, firewalls firewalls oh, that can be fun i'm already in 24. Ooh, i might have to cut some of them out if they are too similar to each other security guards uh Attack drones, I have drones. Uh, gunmen, that's guards. And put it here so I look at the camera at least. Scanning the place, maybe there's a, that's a, uh, there's a thing in the heist movie sometimes that uh, you don't know exactly where the thing is, the, your MacGuffin, and uh, you have to, part of the job is to locate, locate the object. So that can be a fun moment, but how do they do that really? Let me see, Mission Impossible, they already know where it is. Oceans 11, they know where it is. Um, yeah, I don't think it's very common, really, to start the heist without knowing where, where the thing is. The Italian job. Oh, they actually go on the preparation phase into the, the house of the guy to locate where the safe is. So locate, locate the package, can be a moment, now I'll put it, I'll put it here, locate the package. That's nice, so we're in 26 already, oh my god, okay. Now, surveillance, surveillance is a, a cool moment that helps you get the information, intel, and uh, it's generic enough to, to have, um, if you're interested in having this part of the heist in your, in your game, you can put it on the phase one, act one, actually, 
and uh yeah have your guys uh snooping around to see uh how is the schedule of the guards uh, or the mark yeah that can be fun so that's 26 we'll probably have more than 27 huh. do you think the version is too generic i have the version here but uh Yeah, I don't know. Trackers, I'm not too happy with that. The question mark, uh, I'll put it in brackets so that I remember to look at it later. I have here some list of uh, Western complex probably probable complications and weather is one of them maybe it's in the desert and you have to make do with uh, extreme weather conditions it can be fun but it looks more like a survival game i'm not sure i'm interested in uh portraying those kinds of conflicts in uh, my game i don't know yes uh, the hired guns bandits or outlaws but uh, I, I will make another live just to, to work through the complications confusing cave networks that's the maze uh, hung, hungry wildlife coyotes oh coyotes that can be fun instead of hounds yeah wildlife in general yeah you're leaving then there, there's a, a bear a space bear <laughs> yeah that's a cool complication hang on yeah okay cool weather rooms unstable rooms that collapse under our feet oh okay so uh the structure of the building itself oh that can be complication too break into the museum a break into uh, that's alarm okay track down someone the trackers that's uh, okay maybe the tracker thing is actually tracking tracking finding and then I, I can combine this with the uh, locate the package one. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. The thing about the uh, that's a uh, this guys maybe at some point go on this guys. That's an action too. That's more of a, a convincing, that's a, an obstacle convincing. I don't know, I have to think about it. Cover up our exploits so no one will ever know what we did. Infiltrate, infiltrate. Infiltrate, infiltrate. Uh, that can be, infiltrate is good because it can uh, mean sneaky, or it can be it, it can mean socially, or it can be by brute force. So yeah, infiltrate, infiltration. That can be okay. Infiltration. I like infiltration. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. Game design sometimes is just find a word that express the, what they're trying to, what they're trying to convey. And uh, honestly, it's not as easy as, as it may sound.
Okay, I uh, guess I'm done with this list. I have my other list here in the, my notebook. Let's see what I can find here. I like this layout. Yeah, cool. Let's see. Sure. Uh, what did I write here? Costume, fake voices and documents. Oh, so foraging stuff. Oh, that can be fun for the first part. Intercepted calls. Oh, that's Intel and surveillance. Intel. Getting Intel. Okay. Inside man. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's 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 interesting. Find someone in. Okay. Find a way out. So we're over seventeen, which is good because I'm not in love with some of those which means I have uh, some room to work with. Fake foraging, foraging. Stuff. Okay, what else? I have more. I have custom gear gadgets. That's the word I was looking for. Right. What else? Always have a trusty notebook with you at all times. <clears throat> find access, find a back door, find a way out. Uh, I have a way out there. Rigging cameras, going through windows, finding a password. Okay, that's um, blueprints or password. Oh, not fingerprints, actually. Fingerprints, passwords. Okay. Bargains, distractions, blueprints, uniforms, zip lines, uh, standoff, locate object is here. So, yeah, I chase fingerprints, getting uniforms, wire cutting, customizing gear. Okay. The sensitive ones, signal jam, transport, surveillance. Explosives, that's a little too specific, I guess. Forgery, foraging stuff, keys, okay, documents, intercept communication. I don't know if it, that's a specific, but I'll take note of it. Um, supplies. Supplies, maybe the same one. Negotiation with the mark, so bargaining, negotiation, right? Secure door, elevator shaft, guns, vault cameras, wiring, the extraction. Yeah, yeah, I think I have it. So here's the list. That's probably going negotiation. There you go. That's probably going on the preview documents uh, next Wednesday. So if you backed, so if you backed my uh, my game, Starlights, it's uh, the website 
is uh, right over here. Hey, hi, Gustavo. Hi, everyone, man. Nice to see you here, huh? So if you uh, back the, the each funding, that's uh, the website here. Take a look at it. It's coming out quite nice. Let me share the project base with you in case you haven't seen it. And so you can be convinced to support my game. <laughs> Let's do this. Starlight Riders, that's my game here. Sure. Voila, that's the game we're talking about. Yeah. Check this beauty. Right? So it's a card driven RPG. Uh, here are the seven archetypes, seven characters. And the inspiration. You use three six sided die and this deck of cards. And it's uh, pick up and play, GMless, and with shared characters. That's the most interesting thing, I think. At your turn, you choose any of the characters to activate and role play as. So uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a different experience, that's for sure. Uh, and here is uh, mock up what what's going to be the game. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm glad that uh, we found it, so I'll be able to work on it to make it as good as possible. I'm planning on a, a box set with the two decks of cards, uh, the manual, and then a custom dice with get to this, the stretch goal and custom tokens to mark heat and beats. That's two of the currencies of in-game currencies that we have. So yeah. Uh, I guess this is it for today. I'm uh, I like the experience really. I'm planning on doing it uh, maybe unannounced. I'm planning on doing some uh, game indie game overviews too of uh, games I like from the community, especially from the global south, just to spotlight some indie designers and talk about game design in general and may maybe play some solo games as well. So yeah, uh, that's it. I'm glad to have. I'm glad to have you here, and uh, see you next time.